Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified instructor at ASM Educational Center. We're looking at Rockford, Maryland. Our website is www.asmed.com. Today, I'm going to talk about the Juniper uh, for exam JNCIA, which is JN0-102. We're going to talk about Juniper OSB router configuration. So let me tell you what we have today. We're going to have a J1, a router one, connect to J2 via E3, EM3, and e EM3 here. This size is going to be 4040.1 and 4040.2. Then what are we going to do? We're going to create a loopback address on router 1, or J1, 111 slash 24, and router 2, 222 slash 24. Okay? So the goal is that router 1 be able to ping what? On router 2, 222, and router 2 be able to ping R1 via what? OSP routing protocol. Okay? So what are we going to do? As I said, I connect to here. Again, goal is that R1 be able to ping loopback address R2 and via OSPF and R2 be able to ping this loopback address, okay? So here I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do, I want to give IP address to router 1. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go to configuration mode. I'm going to show you that. We're going to say set interface EM3 because that's why it's connected right now in my diagram. Question my unit, zero, question my family. INET question my address 4040.1 that's for this one then I'm going to use the up arrow key and just do with the loopback zero with 1111 okay so what I'm going to do I have already a uh, diagram set up I'm going to go to I'm going to right click this go to router one go to console which is right here oops sorry about that this is two I go to one right here So when I say show configuration, I see it's empty, nothing there there. Okay. So the first thing I want to do, I want to say configure. Again, this is operation mode. This is configuration mode. Okay. So what I'm going to set interface. All right. When I put a question mark, I got to give a name here. Now here, I'm going to use what? This is connected E3 because when I use my mouth on top of that, I can see that right here. Since uh, E3 is connected to virtual device of the other router, okay? Again, these are like a GNS3. We're going to do that right now. So I'm going to go to J1. Okay, I'm going to say EM3, right? And I'm right here. It's right here, okay? Question mark, unit 0. Question mark. I'm going to use the word family right here because that's what we have to do, family. Question mark. Now, since this is uh, IPv6, I'm, I'm sorry, IPv4, I'm going to use INET. Question mark. Now, what I'm going to need the what? Address. Address. Question mark. Then I'm going to put what? This address is going to be what? 40.40.40.1 slash 24. Enter. You got to always remember that you have to say commit. Okay? Now, I use upper key one more time, but I'm going to change this instead of EM3. I'm going to put loop back zero. Okay, that's zero. And the loopback address here is going to be all 1111. 1.1.1.1. Int. Again, I'm going to say commit. Okay? Now, if I say show configuration, it doesn't work because I have this is on the configuration mode. I have to go back one level. I'm going to type exit. Then I'm going to say show configuration. So let's look at what we have. This is default from before. This is the INTEM3 unit zero family that. And this is what? My what? Look back addresses. Okay. Now if I say configure, I can also see if I say show configuration again it doesn't work. If I do at the configuration mode, you have to put command run. So show configuration. This is like a in Cisco router we use a do command. So instead of do command, it says run show configuration. I'm going to see something. Or I can say show interface. If I say show interface, I see this is the first interface, 44 and that. Okay. So that's what I did in my notes right now. So here are router one configuration. We say show configuration. I'm gonna see this is interface EM3 family 4040.1 40, 
and this is loop back with family at the IPS that 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 okay now I'm going to do the same thing for what router 2 so I'm going to say I'm going to be configuration mode Remember, this is configuration mode set interface EM3 unit 0 family inet address 4040.2 why is that because in diagram we have 4040.1 and 4040.2 then also I'm going to have what the loop back address here too so let's do it quickly again so I'm going to go to router 2 which is right here as you see here it's a run show configuration it's empty it's nothing there it's all default okay so what I'm going to do is set interface EM3 unit 0 question mark what I need family question mark what I need inet because this IPv4 is question mark then I need the word what address because I want to give IP address okay address and the IP is going to be what 40.40.40 this is router 2 is right here this is router 2.2 slash 24 enter upper key then I'm going to change this to all 2222 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2. then I'll go here change this to loop back 0 then I'm going to say commit then I can say show interface I can see my interface shows right here so this is the first one 4040 that that's that and that's the second one or I can I can again remember if I say show configuration it does not work because I have to type in run show configuration it's the same as a do command on the Cisco router and I see all of that okay now let's do ping the other side now again if I say ping ping does not work at this command in order to do that you have to say either exit or type in what run ping 40.40.40 I am a router 2 right here this is router 2 this is router 2 is I'm going to ping what dot 1 make sure we have connectivity so we have what connectivity control C now if I go to router 1 which is right here if I try to ping oops again I have to type in run if I type in router 1 ping the loop back at us 2222 you see that it doesn't work why not because it's not in the routing table that's the whole guide of this class is so how do you find the routing table on the Cisco router we will say what show IP route here all you have to say you don't put the word IP so let me exit you go back to the, the first mode okay which operation mode type in what show route now look at when I say show route I only see directly connect I see 1111 and 4040 that so I don't see the loopback address of the router what two so what we want to do we want to use what OSPF so that's what we did here now see that one router one I cannot ping this loopback why since network 222 is not my routing table how do you solve that I'm going to say show around see I don't see network 222 here so as we see network 2 is not in table so I will complete OSPF with that remember you need always advertise direct connecting interface in OSPF so how do you do that you go to router 1 at configuration mode set protocols that's the command is question mark OSPF question mark area question mark, area 0 interface EM3 you have to put both interface again always advertise directly connected network in OSPF so let me go to router 1 right now okay so what I'm going to do I have to be configuration mode I'm going to say set protocol question mark see I have a lot of protocol but the one I want to pick is what OSPF like before we do rip or anything else I'm going to pick what OSPF OSPF question mark then what I need I need the first word right here area area question mark I put zero question mark then I want to what pick what include interface that's the command is interface now here I guess if I when I say question mark I'm going to EM3 then I use the upper key because I want to add it as what L O what zero okay then say commit all right now if I say run show configuration always check your work see how it looks like it 
again this is my IP address is right here I go down 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 this is the loopback address then I'm gonna see what my what advertisement in what OSPF so that's what I did here or there's another command it's called show protocol OSPF so let's go to router one it's another command you can use that too so show protocol OSPF it shows you what's have been running okay now I'm going to do same thing on what router two same concept you have to have it a direct network connected so I'm going to go to router two so I'm going to set protocol again you're going to use a question mark who's your friend question mark OSPF right here question mark then what I need I need what area zero question mark then you have to advertise what do we need interface interface em3 upper key loop back one zero then you get message commit okay so that's what d now if i say run show configuration again you go down 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 you're going to see the ip address on 4040.2 and router 2 that's that one this is a loop back and then you see router protocol OSPF and these are the area and both interests has been what advertised okay so that's what I did here now you also can say show protocols OSPF it shows you what has been advertised now in same way that we use my neighbors I will be able to see my neighbors so the command is show in OSPF, I'm sorry, in the Cisco router, it says show IP OSPF neighbors. Here, all you have to say, don't put the word IP. That's all that is. The trick is don't use the word IP. So router one, I said, go back to here. I go to router one. Show IP OSPF. Sorry. Again, see, I don't need IP. Show OSPF what? Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta go either exit. You gotta be that operation mode show or use that run command show OSPF what neighbors so I can see right now I'm, I'm in router 1 I'm neighbor with router 2.2 okay that's why I did that now you can look at the routing table remember on Cisco I said show IP right here we just said what show route I'm in router 1 right now okay now watch this when I press enter now I'm going to see what the loop back of 222 okay and also you see that here 20, 224.0.5 is a multicast that's used for OSPF and this is the preferences okay remember that for static route was 5 for OSPF 10 is now since I can see 222 right here I should be able to what pink so I said pink 2.2.2.2 I see I can ping right now okay so very straightforward so router one show route. Now I'm gonna see the two 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 everything here, right? This life is good. Now if I see, if, if I see, I can ping it. Router one, I try to ping it. I can see that right here. You can show. Now I go to router two and test. Oops, sorry about that. So undo that one. Now go to router two, do same thing. So I'm gonna to go to router two, right here. Again, exit. I go to operation mode. Sorry about that. Show. Uh, I'm a router to OSPF neighbors. Okay, I'm a router to right now, and I see what 44.1. Now I should be able to show route. I'm a router to. I should be able to see the loopback of router one, which is 111 right here. I see all the 111. Now I should be able to ping what 1.1.1.1. One dot one dot one dot one. Okay, so life is what good. That's why I did that. Show that. Show route router two and router two. Now I can see what router one loop back address via OSP. And since I can see it now, I can also ping it too. Okay, so summary make sure you always advertise directly what connected network inside the OSP. On router one, when I say show configuration, what do I see? I see my interface right here. That's how you check the work. This is your interface is EM3. 44.1. This is my loopback address. 111 router one. Then I see what protocol, OSPF area. I'm advertising what both of them. You gotta make sure you advertise that. If I just advertise one of them, it's not gonna work. On router two, show configuration. You're gonna see their IP address. That you're gonna see loopback address, which is 2222. Two, two, two. Then protocol, all that and that. Okay. 
So that take care of that. Let me show you the quickly here. Let me go right one again. You're gonna say show configuration. Again, this is my IP address. Always you wanna check the work. This is your IP address right here. This is loopback address, 1111 router 1, and this is port code, area was 0, all of that, and that. Now you go to router 2, so it says show configuration, I see the IP address, 22222, I'm sorry, 44 that, and 222 for loopback, and that. Okay, that summarizes everything. So I just want to show you that in our website, our website is www.asm.com. If you go here on the blogs, you're going to see Cisco, CCNS, CCMP, Juniper, Juniper blog. When you click here, you can see a bunch of blogs. So the blog, we have one blog already here. This new blog is going to be right here. So if you click on this one, static route configuration, that's going to take you to the next page, which will show you the diagram. We're going to show you the PowerPoint. Then we're going to show you step by step, all of that. Then here, you can also get the what the PDF of that. All you have to do is click here, get the PDF, and here we show you the video too. Also, same thing is going to be posted in our blogs too. Now, also if you go to our main page, which is um, right here, IT Information Technology, we see all the courses we offer: CompTIA, Microsoft, APOS, Netopos, Juniper. So if you click on Juniper here, right here, that take you down. We have different format. We have a bootcamp, we have evening, and then we have a Webex and bootcamp Webex. So if you have a question, just give us a call at 301-984-7400 or at any places that you desire to. Okay? As been, thank you so much for everything, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video too. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.